Yo, what is going on everybody? Guiding Light here today and welcome back to another Destiny video. In today's video, I just wanted to take a few minutes to bring you guys a bunch of news and information on what is actually happening in Destiny. Besides Iron Banner happening next Tuesday, December 6th, there's actually another giant expansion launching as soon as next Tuesday, December 13th. So there's a bunch of new things happening on that date. There's actually three new exotics getting added, as well as a couple of changes to PvE, as well as the Sparrow Racing League returning and actually staying forever. So with all that being said, guys, we're just going to hop right on into this. And we're going to start with the three new exotics coming to Destiny on December 13th. So for the three new exotics coming to Destiny, as you guys are probably already familiar with one of them, there is the Thunderlord, the LMG, which actually is an art burn to it, and it's a pretty cool exotic. I don't really use it all that often because Heavy, in PvP at least, isn't really used all that much, but overall the perks are pretty cool. Now there are actually two new Heavy weapons coming with this DLC, and two of them are, are actually just spin-offs of the Thunderlord, so we're going to have a Solar Thunderlord as well as a Void Thunderlord coming with this DLC on December 13th. Now also for the third exotic, which is my favorite part of this entire expansion, is the fact that they are actually bringing back the Icebreaker. So if you guys don't know what the Icebreaker is, it's actually the sniper that I'm using in this video, and it, it is able to regenerate its own ammo. You never have to reload it, and you never have to worry about picking up special ammo either. Just having it on you will Im immediately allow it to regenerate ammo, and you will never run out, and it will just continuously regenerate. Now, this weapon had a few problems back in year one with its regeneration time. It was a little overpowered, and they actually did tune it back a little bit so that you only get one bullet every seven seconds. Now, I'm not really too sure if they're going to change that with this December update. They haven't really mentioned what they're going to do or what the charge-up time is the going to be of this new Icebreaker. But those are the three new exotics coming, and I'm pretty hyped for the Icebreaker at least. I definitely can't wait to get my hands on that, and it's definitely going to be pretty exciting once I finally do. Now, besides the new weapons coming, they are also bringing back the Sparrow Racing Lee. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with that, and you've seen a lot of trailers on it as well. It's an event that they had last year, which is pretty awesome. And it is a really amazing way just to get a lot of gear and to level up extremely quickly. Now this year they're bringing that back, but they're actually bringing it back with a little bit of a twist. There's going to be a couple more tracks and a ton of more sparrows to unlock. There's also going to be a new record book to keep track of all the challenges and everything. And this time around it's actually going to be free. You're not going to have to worry about getting that. It's going to just be waiting for you once the Sparrow Racing League drops. Also keep in mind guys that for the couple weeks that this event is running, every Tuesday we're actually going to be receiving a reward for about three weeks in a row. So you do want to make sure that you're logging into Destiny. Now the most important part of the Sparrow Racing League that I'm definitely pretty excited for is the fact that it will possibly be able to race some Sparrows and actually take part in the Sparrow Racing League once it's gone and once this event is over because of the private match system. There is a possibility that they will allow us to use the Sparrow Racing League in private matches, which is going to be pretty awesome once this event leaves. We're still going to be able to enjoy that with our friends, and that's just a really awesome part of Destiny that is now going to be added to the game. Now besides a ton of new weapon ornaments and emotes for just tons of weapons like the Last Word, the Thorn, the Icebreaker is getting its own ornaments, there's just a ton of more ornaments to, to, that are coming out. So there's going to be a lot of cosmetic things coming with this December update as well. Now there also will be a minor strike overhaul. They're actually adding the same point system that we're used to seeing in PvP as well as the Prison of Elders and they're bringing that into the strikes. So during the strike playlist, you, you and your friends will actually be able to earn a score for every kill that you get. Everything that you do in the strike will actually earn you points. And then at the end of the strike, you can see who has the most points and who's gonna. that's how you're going to complete bounties and stuff like that. And actually complete a bunch of challenges in those strikes in order for your, you and your team to earn more points and complete the strikes. Now along with all these add-ons, there will also be a little bit of weapon tuning being done in this December update. Now unfortunately, I haven't heard any information on that yet, what exactly they're going to be doing with that. We're going to have to wait a couple more days to get some more information on that, and when it does get dropped, I will let you guys know in another video as well. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know what you guys are most excited for about this December update in the comments down below. Have a great day guys, and I will catch you guys tomorrow in another Destiny video. Peace!